who I don't think has ever been paired together. The duet is called The Odd Couple. They already know. Yes. Kendall and Brandon. <laughs> Kendall is kind of the hardcore, like, dark, punk rock chick, while Brandon would be the complete opposite. So what part is the harder part, exactly? It's a duet. They're going to do the same thing. It's the same thing? I was just wondering. She wants Bryn to have the harder part and yeah. the, all the leg tricks and all that stuff that the little kids do. Maybe you should just well, be seriously. thankful you have a duet because there are two kids, I four kids, thankful. four I kids thankful. on this team that don't have one. Bryn, if Abby were here, she would say, your mother just blew it for you. I think Ashley is so desperate that she's throwing my kid under the bus yet again. This woman is rude. So we have our odd couple here. Kendall, you're kind of like the hardcore, like, punk rock chick, while Bryn is like dainty, pretty. OK, ready? I love when Kendall dances. That's what we're here for. What I don't like about this duet is I have to deal with Ashley all week. Ashley thinks Bryn is Maddie's replacement. She's pretty awful. Oh, that's awful. Kendall, that's not your character at all. I just think the challenge with a dance like this is if they don't get into character and act the heck out of it, it's going to be flat. Kendall's really only interested in being the pretty girl. When Kendall's given a compelling character, she kind of blows it off. Kendall, I don't think that you told your story to the audience. I think when you're in agony, you can't go. Bryn's not a member of the ALDC yet, but she should be. You know, Kendall is old news. I'm really doing my best to keep the peace with Jill. I just don't want Kendall to mess this up for her. All right, G, thank you. Bye. Please welcome to the stage act number 26, the Ashley is so worried about my 12-year-old little girl playing this character, this dark, seedy, punk rocker. Now all this pressure is on Kendall. You know what? I have faith in Kendall. She can do anything you give her. Once again, Kendall is given a character, and she can't do it. She just doesn't put the energy into it that it takes to pull it off. Bryn and Kendall's duo is going up against Kalani and Nia's African dance number. Our duo is looking kind of pitiful next to theirs. It was all, all yeah. of them did very well. I don't know. I do think Kendall could have played it up a little bit more. I'm sure you do think that. I, uh, well, Who are you to judge Kendall? Like, that's stupid. Because it's a duo. I think your eye was drawn to Kendall because she was so dynamic. I don't know I think Bryn that. may have been a little bit boring. I don't agree. So what happened with Bryn's turn? She was late both times. Every time we're talking about Bryn or anybody else that just butts in, I really think she needs to keep her mouth shut when we're talking about other kids, because I'm tired of talking to her. Well, here's something. Don't talk about other kids. We were talking about, about the Bryn. duo. We were talking about the duo, Jeez. Jill. Good afternoon. Are we ready to do our award ceremony? Here we go. Junior Advanced Duo Trio. In third place overall, Number 26, The Odd Couple. Oh, God, third. <laughs> we didn't come here to get third place. I think Jill totally needs to stop protecting Kendall. It is not doing her good. The more everybody babies her, the worse and worse she's going to get. Now, Bryn, come on, let's start the trip. Jazz, you are going to unleash the Bryn. We want to feel really like we're on a trip, something transient, right? Psychedelic. Shake it off, we're in the trip. So more bend both legs, it's a little bit funkier. Snap it. Yes, big girl. Bryn is an incredible dancer, technically, and we've seen this, but we haven't seen this personality. We haven't seen this performer breakthrough. It's time for Bryn 
to bring that bubbly personality, that confidence to the foreground. Girl. The choreography is very different. It is actually freaking amazing. No ponche, no front aerial, like holla freaking Louia. Like it took way too long. She's like sporty and she's not this frail little princess ballerina that Abby has portrayed her to be. So I think she's so excited to break out of that. It's no secret that Kalani has been Abby's favorite from the minute she laid eyes on her. Kalani isn't always going to be the favorite, especially if Abby isn't around. Just because Kalani was Abby's favorite doesn't mean she's going to be Lorianne's. This is Bryn's chance to steal some of the spotlight. Bryn was magical. Thank you. It wasn't about the lyrical, which obviously is one dimensional. I don't think that it could have just been any jazz routine that would have broke her out and aligned her with what she could do. And there was a stamina issue there, right? She was tired at the end. Yeah. And in first place, our top solo of the day goes to entry number 39, Broken. I definitely should have placed higher, in my opinion, because I literally couldn't have done anything better. I had a lot of like stuff in my solo, and it was really like hard and challenging, but the judges just must not have liked it. I'm here in Orlando to train Lucas this week, and after I hear that ALDC is competing, I want to pop in to see them. Wait till she gets a load of what I'm going to do at National. She's really going to be running scared. I heard Kathy. Up in the air. Do not respond. I couldn't believe when I heard Kathy's voice. Uh, be careful, there's an incline there. You might roll down. That annoying whining. Good luck today, everybody. Chloe, fabulous shorts. Ugh, ugh, I just can't stand that woman. The Abby Lee Dance Company doesn't have time for these shenanigans. Kathy's behavior is at an all-time low. She's touching me and poking at me, and nobody acts like that. Who acts like that at a dance competition? If you want to dance professionally, you're going to have to do musical theater pieces. If the girls aren't in perfect sync and they're not clean, we're never going to win this competition. Up next, please welcome the seven dancers. <laughs> do with what they were given. But I'm not feeling this costume, I'm not feeling this number, so I'm a little anxious. I can't even clap for that. It, it has to be the worst dance I've ever seen. And first place in the overall small group division, act number 63, the seven dancers. Congratulations, everybody. Take a bow, take a bow. Hi, ladies. Hey, listen. I 
just wanted to tell you congratulations. Dumbest routine I've ever seen that you guys did. Kathy comes in and she is like a raging lunatic. You know what, Nationals? We have something enormous planned. Of you do. Bigger than you. We know you do. If that's possible. So look out. I have had it with Kathy's mouth today. She brings out the absolute worst in people, including me. Hey! Stop! Oh, stop. Who wants to hear your mouth? Kathy! You're finished! You're washed up! You're old! You're nothing! Oh, really? Get on the broom and fly away home! I don't need to get on the broom and fly away home! Don't touch other people! I'm not touching you! You sat in a theater and poked me in the back! I told you to shut your mouth! Don't touch other people! It's talk through other kids' dances! You're a hypocrite! You're a hypocrite! You're a joke in the dance community! Yes! Oh, no, doll! Oh, yes, you are! Adam Hane, any news? You know what's red and white and black all over? The obituaries! And that's where you belong! You would know. Welcome, Christy. Thank you. Sarah. Thank you for having us. Kalani isn't here this week. Perfect opportunity for Sarah to step in. This weekend, we'll be at New York Dance Experience in Long Beach. Now, local competition. So you need to be so good and so amazing that every one of those people say, you know what? Maybe it's time for our child to come and train here at the ALDCLA. This week, you're doing a baseball dance. So, the group routine. The batter and the catcher are in corner one. The pitcher center stage. Let's go. The stakes are high for this routine. I'm trying to get new customers. So, it's really important that my girls go out there and be the ALDC that this competition knows and loves. And that's going to be the challenge, because Sarah is here as a guest. She needs to stay in line with the other girls. And it's a lot of pressure to handle. Oh, is that a fan kick or no? It's, they can't do it. All right, girls. So, New York Dance Experience, Long Beach, California. People in the neighborhood will be there. You know those judges. They know you. I know you want to impress them. You want to do your best. You're dismissed. Hit your poses. Can you be taller a little bit? No. You can go here, but I want you to go like, like, like your body line is going across the front of me because I'm going to change her, OK? Girls, you need to look like a team. We're competing in Long Beach an hour up the street. We have kids that come that far to dance class here. Understand? Sarah's delightful. Nice girl, great potential. But Sarah's a guest. These girls have been dancing together for a long time and adding new people, it's gonna make a difference with the group gelling. It just changes the dynamics. And I think that might be the piece that will make it the most challenging. Come on, girls, let's go. The stakes are high for these routines because we're here in Long Beach, California. This is my own backyard. And we're gonna have kids of all different ages coming to attend this competition. These are my potential students. But Sarah has a tough job today. She is not used to dancing with this group. This win is way too important for this kid to not be at her best. This is a huge week for Sarah. We have been trying to transition to LA, trying to get a spot on this team. Sarah needs to prove that she can dance with the team and she can bring the win. Girls, get up here, get up here, get up here. All those kids out there look up to you. We're going to walk down that hallway, and every kid in that hallway wishes that they could be you. I want to see the choreography done like a team, a winning team. There is going to be a lot of stiff competition. We are happy Woo! Let's do it. But there's also going to be a lot of potential customers. Nothing brings in students like a winning team. Up next, taking the stage is Club 42. We do it all for the win.
have to say, I loved it. I love the concept. You look pretty, yet you're tough. Sarah, I felt you lost a little bit at the beginning on the turn. It just drew my focus because you were on the end. You have a lot to live up to, right? We all have to work to the highest level of our group. Thank you. Great job. I love this idea. And Ariel, like, there's no Ariel in baseball, but you did it. I love it. I love it. Brilliant performance. Brilliant. Thank you. I thought the judges' critiques were both good and bad. It could go either way. But more importantly, at this competition, they just have one overall award. We have one chance to win. Your top junior group today. Five in time. Ten. Junior group, think about. They blew it. I want champions on this team, not losers.